It's a franchise team that is causing ripples across all tournaments they take part in. They are not a permanent team, but a collection of select players that come together during tournaments. Way back in 1996, Samurai were asked to put together a team for the 25th anniversary of the Amsterdam Sevens in Netherlands. That was where the Samurai Sevens were born, bringing in an element of fun and professionalism in Sevens Rugby. The composition is diverse. It was easier for us to invite players from different nationalities, some Welsh, some English, some French, and we've never ever changed that philosophy. From 1996, having won the Amsterdam Sevens tournament, many players wanted to be part of the Samurai. The Samurai name was inspired by the Japanese national team at the 1995 World Cup. They lost heavily to New Zealand, but they played fast-flowing rugby, a Sevens rugby version at the 15th World Cup. That also gave birth to the Samurai philosophy of enjoy, develop and win in any tournament. We want to enjoy ourselves, but we make sure that it's done in a professional way, in a professional environment. We want to help develop players and develop coaches. And of course, we want to win tournaments. And certainly so far, the way we've done things has worked. Our model has worked. Supply is never an issue. Many players put themselves forward for selection and the coaches as well do a lot of scouting for the team. The effect is that many players have been developed from Samurai and are key to their national teams, especially in the IRB World 7 Series. Word of mouth and we go and watch players at different tournaments and it's worked for us, the model has worked. I think you know everyone sees playing for Samurai as such a privilege. So everyone's always happy to be here and everyone's always happy to meet new people and I think that's one of the best things about Samurai as well. That you can actually meet people from different countries, different um, cultures and things like that and you get to experience it and then we all come together and we do what we love which is rugby. The composition is diverse. Any Samurai assembled team has players from different countries and continents. All coming together for a very short time but in the end they succeed in winning tournaments. <laughs> Well, rugby personalities is uh, a fascinating thing because there's so many different personalities and manage them isn't easy, but we always have good coaches, we always have good management team. Generally speaking, we tend to get the players to blend and gel well. There's different ways in which we do that, you know, on the pitch and off of it. We've been successful so far, so our, uh, our philosophy has worked. Tamra is a family. So once people join in, they interact, they bond, and it's one big happy family. So people get to know each other, the cultures and everything. Oscar Oma thumping his way right through, shrugs of the first. The latest samurai team had three Kenyans in it playing at the Safari Sevens tournament in Nairobi. Experienced Oscar Oma and Felix Ayange, who are regulars in the Kenya Sevens team, were joined by another Kenyan international in the 15th team, Sami Oliech. They were part of a star-studded samurai team. The Kenyans were playing at home, but for the opposition. It's a bit of a challenge, uh, you know, once, once you're used to playing for the home crowd and playing for the home team, once you play for another team, then it's, it's a bit of a challenge because they're not favourites, because definitely the home team is the favourite. But it's also a good thing because you get the competitive nature and you get to play with other teams, so you bring the competitiveness in the games. So playing against other teams is going to be good, even for the home team because you get to challenge them and they get to challenge you. So eventually we emerge as good players. Some of the players who have turned out for the Samurais want to play for the team again after their experience with this team. I did a few tournaments for other clubs and Nick Wakeley, who is one of the coaches, approached me asking if I'd like to be involved with Sevens and he told me all about Samurai and I jumped at the chance, you know. My first tournament was this one last year. I loved it. It was probably the best one I've been involved in so far and I've been to places like Singapore and, and Hong Kong, but this one stands out for me. It was my first. We managed to win it as well, so yeah, it was unbelievable. Their favourites are now the Safari Sevens Tournament, the Middlesex Tournament in England and of course, where it all started, the Amsterdam Sevens Tournament. Samurai has won all these tournaments at some stage, but they keep coming back to Kenya, to the Safari Sevens. We've been to the Safari Sevens many, many times and uh, we've always enjoyed ourselves. We, we, we love the Kenyan culture, we love the Kenyan people, we've got a huge amount of friends in Kenya. It's great when we come to the tournaments and we see the passionate Kenyans supporting rugby. So Safari Sevens has always been very important to us. I think we've been around, around 12 times now and we just want to keep coming back and, and in fact we've chosen the Safari Sevens over the Singapore Sevens this year. So we just love Kenya and we love coming back.
Samurai started off as a rugby team and not as a sports brand when it was founded in 1996. But now, Samurai Sportswear is a household name in rugby, hitting some of the top teams in the world of rugby, including national teams. A lot of people think that the brand and the rugby seven side of things are interlocked, but if I'm honest, they're, they're interlocked because obviously we supply the kit and we supply our brand all over the world, but for me, they're very separate. The Samurai rugby team, it is a, an affiliated team to the Rugby Football Union. It is a rugby club. Whereas, of course, my brand, Samurai Sportswear, is a sports brand. And, and yes, we, we manufacture our own kit and sell it all over the world. And of course, we're very proud to sponsor Kenya Rugby. We also obviously sponsor a number of other teams, but it is very, very separate for me. Other than rugby and sportswear, the Samurai brand has been involved in other charitable events in helping out the less privileged in the society. This is a tool they use to spread the rugby message across the world. Samurai International, they are crowned the winners of the 2015 Safari 7th 